whatever. I really haven't. I, I don't plan on selling this to anybody, you know? I mean, why sell something that means a lot to you that probably won't mean a lot to somebody else, you know? No matter if you're broke or whatever, it's just nice to have some of this stuff because a lot of these things I'll never buy again, you know? Once I buy them now, I'll, if, I, if something happens to them, I'll probably never buy them again, you know? Anyway, the video's going to be probably in a couple parts anyway. Uh, so what else do I have? I have the Doc Brown uh, bottle or label bottle that somebody made. And the Ecto-01 thing. I got Bret Hart because Bret Hart, you know, everybody who's a wrestling fan, you know, knows that Bret Hart's probably one of the greatest wrestlers of all time no matter what. And I know for a fact that he's going to kick Vince's ass at WrestleMania. Uh, let's see. And then, of course, you know, you got the Back to the Future, the original Back to the Future Happy Meal from the, the McDonald promotion from back in 1991 and 92. And all the original four toys. Uh, Doc Brown, Jules, I think, or Vern, uh, Einstein, and uh, Mark McFly on the hoverboard. And, of course, you know, Gizmo in the background. And my uh, DeLoreans, you know, from Back to the Future Part 2, or Part 1. Two and three. Okay, so that's that's with that, and and these here are the original photos from the uh, well not the original but the replicas of uh, from the back from the Ghostbusters two movie. This is Vigo in the original painting, and this is before, and this is after. Remember the the uh, picture of the guys, you know that were in the, uh, you know. The original Ghostbusters that were in the mo or in the painting, yeah, I love that picture. I'm not into guys, you know, or half naked, or whatever. I'm just, it's just a collector's item, you know. That's all it is, just a collector's item, something to make the make the room look really cool. And you know, I got all these, you know, I got the Cry Kid stuff. I got Ghostbusters hat, director's hat. I got all these comic books that it would take me forever to just go one by one and tell you about them. So hopefully, you got good vision. I'll try to zoom up here a little bit. There we go. I just go pan around a little bit. So many good. Some of these might spark some memories for you guys a little bit. I'm just thinking. All these things and those Batman trading cards and then the uh, Back to Future Part 3 picture of Doc Brown, Martin McFly, the original Terminator 2 comic books. Yes, they they do have tacks to them, but only one tack. And then some of these are still in their paper set or their plastic sack, so. They haven't really been damaged at all, just so you're, in case you're wondering. Because, like I said, I don't plan on ever selling any of this stuff, so it's not that big of a deal to me. As long as they're in good condition somewhat, you know, it's all that really matters. A lot of things. I even found some Nightmare on Elm Street comic books, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So many good things. So many good things. And, yes... Got the original go uh, the Ghostbusters shirt, the same shirt that MJ has worn, believe it or not. I found it on eBay from a dealer in Florida that was selling these. I don't know if he made any of these, but they were selling these anyway. So, yes, I got the same shirt. Just hung up here as what MJ has worn before on, on his videos. And Beetlejuice poster, more cards, Batman cards, home improvement picture. Just some random stuff. Of course, this one I really like. This is of uh, that uh, uh, of Bill Murray, aka Peter Venkman, in the original Ghostbusters. And all the characters. Somebody drew this. The people that uh, Straight Jacket Productions uh, from eBay made this, and they were selling the pictures. So and this I got from the friend, my friend Greg. The Three Stooges stuff poster here. Just a lot of stuff that it would take me forever just to. Uh, Go through everything. Friday thirteenth. I did find some frames now for my some of my movie posters by eleven or eleven by seventeen posters. They said it was like a rare, rare frame size, so they couldn't really find before or order them without charging them too much. But they only found they found some good ones that were only four bucks a piece. So I thought that was pretty nice. I got some Married with Children comic books. Hard to believe that Married with Children ever would do a comic book, but they were a popular series, that's for sure. WWE Raw uh, uh, light switch cover. <laughs> so many good things. So many good things. And pretty much here are the Back to the Future comic books that I got from Planet Beer Wagon. All of them. 
Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna really do or do much editing on this, I just wanna keep it simple. Because I'm not gonna spend too much time editing everything. Just cause like I said, I don't have the best edit editing software right now. And I gotta pay for Vegas. My Batman photo of Michael Keaton, the original Batman, the better Batman of course. In a nice frame now, 16 by 9 frame. And more comic books I just got. Uh, Howard the Duck from the original movie. Police Academy got some comic books. I could, because trying to just, you know, I was trying to put the rest of the, the comic books that I got there right over here, but I couldn't really. I'm running out of room. And I, I, had, I don't know. When I get, when I move out of here, where I'm going to be uh, staying at the next place or whatever, won't be so. It'll be a lot more room anyway. Any of the Cruises 2 poster with the original Michael Pere. The guy who played Eddie Wilson, a little card that I got. I figured it was good with the frame, so why not? And then just more stuff, pretty much, literally. And then classic Mad magazines from from the 80s and all that. And yeah, so many, so much good things. So many good things. And a lot of these you've seen already before. <clears throat> a lot of these you probably haven't. Uh, of course, there's me. At the Goonie House, in case you didn't know, I, I have got I have been to Astoria, Oregon before, so I have seen the Goonie House and everything else. There's me uh, with a picture of me with the legendary Bo Diddley from a few years back. Met him too, and just a lot of random stuff. And I, then I was able to forget the Ecto One Hot Wheels edition of the Ecto One. So there you go, Rob. I know you like this one. They sold it cost me ten dollars on eBay. That's kind of a collector's item. This I'll keep in the case because of y'all. You know, no reason to take it out. And some buttons that somebody made. That orders. Goonies, Say by the Bell, Empire Records, John Hughes Films, and Nintendo. With the power glove. Yes, it's bad. And some Pee Wee Herman buttons. And of course some pictures, some more toys and whatnot of Beetlejuice and Friday 13th, my Batman book, and of course, topping it all off, my uh, inter my autograph picture of Jeffrey Wiseman, who I interviewed here last September on the, on, the, on the Five Awesome Sun channel, and then my bobbleheads, of course, a lot of rare stuff. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, no fancy editing, but I just want to do like a little tour of my uh, on my room pretty much and uh, uh, let me know what you guys think you know do you like it do you hate it is it too girly or is it too weird because I'm 26 years old and I, I'm buying all this stuff or whatever when I should be going out and dating a chick or whatever and you know and all that stuff and living the good life with that well as, as much as I'd like to do that stuff I mean I, trust me my time will come when that will happen it's just right now just kind of at a crossroads right now where I'm trying to just figure things out.